you guys know, Toyota is a uh, very famous car brand known for building cars that last forever. You can beat them up. La Toto, ya mira. You can do whatever you want. If you watch Top Gear, they had one of those Toyota Hiluxes on their show. They couldn't kill it. Well, I have my 1981 Toyota pickup. Here in America, it's called a pickup. It's not called the Hilux. It was sitting in the desert for over 10 years. It was abandoned and we brought it back to life. And I'm at my friend Jacob's shop. I don't know where he's at. He has a truck. I'm waiting for him. Well, there he is. I hope he's been taking care of the truck because it's not 100% right now. Jeez. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Jacob, I told you to take care of my truck, bro. What are you doing? Oh. You're driving like a maniac, brother. That's normal driving for me. You almost ran me over, dude. It'd be like that sometimes. Let's talk about why these trucks are just unbeatable. This is a 1981 Toyota pickup and all over the world they call the Hilux. And I believe uh, in other parts of the world, there's our diesel variants. This is a four cylinder. What is it, 2.4? 2.4. 2.4 liter. Uh, one reason why these things are unbeatable is because, well, back in the day, you didn't have computers. You didn't have anything crazy. It was just a carbureted motor manual transmission simple this truck has been sitting was sitting in the desert for over 10 years in west texas and someone bought it to fix it up they didn't get it going then i bought it and jacob got it going it did sit at a shop for a while um, but then i sent it to jacob and he started working on it i got a uh, 22r these this 1981 came with a 22r but the one that we had uh was just locked up so i bought this this one uh here in texas but then that one had a rod knock so then jacob sent it to a machine shop got it going and now it's running pretty good um again the 22r 2.4 liter motor these little motors are one of the most famous motors that Toyota made they're just they just keep going they're like they just keep ticking and ticking and ticking jacob you fire her up little motors they had them uh in the hilux i know they also had it in the celica i believe in the early uh 80s yeah but supposedly they have uh, the celicas have different blocks so like they don't they, they don't match. match yeah okay but yeah these little motors what they're making what like 60 horsepower or something I have no idea. <laughs> very little not enough not enough but you'd be surprised because this thing actually picks up pretty quick it, it keeps up with uh the the, yeah <laughs> it keeps up with the new tundra now it keeps up with the traffic pretty good I mean, it weighs nothing. It's it, it's it's nothing basically. But yeah, one of the reasons is these motors back in the day they just they were just made very basic. If you look under the hood, it's all basic. And then on top of that, Japanese engineering, design, and just everything that they came up with is pretty good. These trucks are pretty notorious to be some of the favorite trucks of the band or any military group trying to fight another third world country military they love these trucks why because again they're simple it's manual transmission you got solid front axles leaf sprung nothing fancy it just does its job it's not comfortable at all but it gets the job done the little motor will keep going again manual transmission it's just the bare bones things you need that's why i love this truck and on top of that it reminds me of the toy story truck because it's the same one i mean look how simple the tailgate is super simple the nothing won't break the yeah the yeah the latches won't break the metal pieces inside the internal pieces wouldn't break because it's all right here it's simple guys i mean this thing's from 1981. We're in 2023 and this, still, this thing is still going. Another reason why these things are tough is that the Hilux have box chassis. So the chassis itself, it's all boxed in. Nowadays on a lot of the smaller trucks like these, they're uh, 
they're like half and half. They're like they're like C-shaped, right? C-channel. So they're not as rigid and strong as these frames. You know, back in the day, back in the 80s, they would have these little pickups like dualies and all that, right? They'd have the one-ton dualies. Could pull a lot. That was back in the 80s. And they were pulling with these little motors. They still do in like in Mexico and other places. Um, it's true. You see them on marketplace every once in a while, but oh, like in other countries, they're really popular. Yeah. For like work trucks over there. For sure. Again, no computers, no nothing. You could easily just find when it, when the truck has issues, you can just come down here and you'll be able to figure it out pretty quick. No, you can't. You don't even know how to work on cars. That's true. Let's look at the interior. You guys hear that? Oh, it's a beautiful sound. Look at this. Look at this beauty, dude. It's trash. It's not trash. It's trash. It's armor. I'm going to put this on bring a trailer. I'm going to sell it for like $20,000. You won't. I will. You won't. I will. So look at this, guys. Look at this. Beautiful, dude. You got manual everything. And you know you have to whenever you lock the door. What is it? You lock it and you have to hold the... Did you know that trick? I didn't know that trick. You have to hold, like, when you're going to lock it, you got to hold it. Why? Because it won't lock. What? Do you have the key? Look. It's on the... Well, either way, it's windows open, so... I left the keys inside. <laughs> so I think... I think if you... You see? You see that? You can't lock it, so whenever you do lock it, you have to hold it. My keys <laughs> now let's give give you guys a little tour of the interior here what the amenities of a 1981 toyota pickup has i love this unlettered fuel only guys come on don't forget it they did have a diesel variant of uh, the two-wheel drive pickups i remember i drove one there was one for sale it's pretty cool i might buy one too but an actual high looks a right-hand drive so i don't know hopefully yeah, that's, buy that's what he says but i don't know anyways um this thing has uh vents but i believe it's just for the heater it's just a heater it only says um cool so there's no ac in this thing these never came with these so by level cool not cold or yeah. ac pretty basic an ashtray an ashtray you got a your cigarette lighter you got your what is it what is this one this was obviously aftermarket oh no that's a horn i think but it was placed aftermarket there because yeah. obviously the horn would be up here yeah you got your speedo there. You got your other stuff. I love the glove compartment. Open it, Jacob. It's made out of like aluminum, right? Or metal. Metal. Yeah, it's metal. But it's like nice and sturdy. It is registered. It is street legal, guys. Street legal. Street legal. We can operate this beautiful uh, piece of art on the streets. Yep. Got your little window there. It's kind of bad. Your little window but we usually keep it closed because you'll see all the fumes it's pretty nasty and yeah that's about it this seat's not original we need to get some good seats in here but we threw this in here this still even has the original tire and iron oh that's right nice so that's the inside of uh, the truck. We'll take a little drive in it a little bit. But yeah, I bought this truck from uh, one of you guys. Uh, thank you, Smiley, for set, uh, for selling me this truck. I bought it from him and it came with a spare uh, front, front uh, axle and some other spare stuff. Oh, he actually came by and saw it and he said he would never, th he never thought he would do it. Uh, driving. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people yeah. said that. I know a lot of friends said the same thing. They're like, this thing's never going to run, but... Here she is, she's back on the road. But yeah, there's a, uh, we have the bumper for it, the front bumper, we need to throw that on there. But we do have some plans for later the year, some big uh, film plans with this truck. We, we I don't wanna say anything yet, but um, I do wanna take it on a big, big trip. I think you guys will really enjoy that uh, video. I recently washed it and cleaned as much, <laughs> much of it as possible, but 
It's still pretty nasty. It does have a little bit of rust, and like that's the only rust it has. I've noticed that a lot of the a lot of them will have that rust on the floor. You can see the shifter. Pretty cool. Obviously no power steering. Original transmission. All we did was just put oil in it, right? <laughs> it needs oil, no problem. It needs, yeah, it needs oil. But it, I mean, it's just fine. It doesn't bang gears or nothing. So I mean, no grinding gears or nothing. So. Well, that's the end of this video. Stick around, please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, there's gonna be a lot more of Tuna Can, the 81 Toyota pickup. A lot more coming up and uh, check out Jacob's YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. He's done some work on Tuna Can and just check out all his other cool stuff he has on the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.